Hey everybody, welcome back to Praying Hands and Walking Feet, the channel where we're finding our way without a compass or a map. I uh, just wanted to pop on real quick because we just had a birthday in our house and it made me think about how our kids go about gift giving and how we have kind of helped to coach and guide them in the ways that they choose gifts for others and how all of that works. So sometimes I know it's just easier for us to run to the store and pick up something for our kids to give to someone else, right? That would be the easiest thing to do. Or we just do a family gift that you just go and pick out and wrap and everybody signs the card and you're done. But I realized early on, like one of our children's love languages is gift giving and receiving. And so that was stealing part of the joy away from him by me making it easier for me. It was not allowing him to use his gifts and talents and to offer and show love in the way that he loves to do with gifts. And so we stopped doing those family gifts and we started allowing our kids to choose what they wanted to give. Now within reason, obviously, we're not just gonna let them go and buy whatever they want, but honestly, just changing our words to, what do you wanna give such and such a person? What do you wanna give your brother for his birthday? What do you wanna give your sister for Christmas? Instead of saying, what do you want to get them? And so our kids have actually been really creative in some of the gifts that they've given to others and to each other and to us, honestly, because of that simple change of word in just what do you want to give instead of what do you want to get them. So we have seen amazing gifts such as coupons for massages. One of our kids gives really good back massages. Um, we've seen them give to another sibling something that they had that their sibling really liked, that they knew their sibling liked and that they were kind of they figured they could be done playing with it because their sibling would get so much more enjoyment out of it. And it was amazing. It didn't matter that the gift wasn't brand new. It didn't matter that it had been played with. It didn't matter that the sibling receiving the gift knew where it came from. What really mattered was that it was a gift from the heart. Like, and they didn't choose ratty things. Like, that's the thing. They would clean it up and make sure it looked good, make sure it worked, all of the pieces were there. If it needed batteries, they put new batteries into it. And it was amazing. Whereas, if I would have run the show, I would have either picked out a gift for them to give their sibling or taken them to the store and said, okay, what do we wanna pick out? What do you wanna pick out for them? And we would have missed out on that moment of them showing that they know their sibling and that they pay attention. And it was really a true gift from the heart. And so we miss out on those moments by making it easier for us, which in the long run, it's not making it easier for us because we're not allowing our kids to grow and develop and become the human beings that we keep thinking and saying and praying that they will become. We have to give them opportunities to do that. Now, some of our other children uh, like to just make homemade heartfelt cards like paper crafts and make them pop-up cards and intricate and this page turns to this and this page this pops up, but they've made it. Instead of just going to the store to buy a card that they thought was cute, they put their time and talent and energies into making it. And the receiver, oh my goodness, every single time someone, it doesn't matter if it's an adult or a child, opens one of those homemade cards, it is a much more genuine response rather than, you know, the store-bought card that's just like, oh, thanks. And moving on, they're like, wow, you made this? Like you took the time to make from scratch to make me a card. Thank you, that's awesome. That makes me feel so loved. And then what is the most fun in our house is I don't rap for people. I don't rap other people's, I don't rap my kids' Christmas gifts to other people. I don't rap their friends' gifts 
to their friends for birthdays. I don't wrap their gifts to each other for birthdays or anything like that. And so what has become an awesome, fun thing in our house is they like to get so crazy and creative with the wrapping. Now, I could squash all of that because it's messy, it takes time, like it's a waste of time and energy and resources, but I didn't. I just chose to let it go, and it it has created such a memory in our family that they have wrapped things in ace bandages, like literally all the ace bandage wraps that we have in the house have been wrapped all around one gift again and again and again. And so it's so funny for the person opening because they have no idea how many are there and it's fun. They have wrapped with streamers, they have wrapped with boxes, with newspaper, bags inside bags, taped up, not taped, you name it, they have wrapped with it. They have gotten backpacks and use them as receptacles inside something else. Like they're so creative, it's amazing. And so now it's kind of fun when it's a gift giving occasion in our house because we don't know who's gonna have kind of like the craziest wrapping. And then you never know what the gift actually is because you don't know what the size of it is because sometimes they'll choose like a huge Amazon box for a little tiny thing that's like this big. But it's so fun to watch the one who wrapped it get so excited as they get layer by layer closer and the one who's unwrapping is literally just rolling on the floor giggling because of how much how much wrapping they're having to go through to get to their gift. And so it's just been really fun. So I encourage you, if you have not ever allowed your children to choose how and what they want to give to someone, anyone in their life, give it a try. And then in the comments below, let us know how it goes. Or do you already do this? Do you already have some other thing that you and your family do like this for gift giving that your kids just love doing and other people love receiving? I'd love to hear more ideas. And if you like all these videos, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks so much and see you next time.